All right, so uh, the way this uh, clinic is set up is there's a straight wall that goes here, then it curves, and then this other wall curves back into it. So you got a straight wall there, a straight wall here, and then a curved wall that goes all the way across. And I'm about to show you, because we have to install molding on top, I'm about to show you how to find that angle that's up there, and then how to cut the pieces on the miter saw. So we have this tool here, this is called the angle finder, and we use it at every single corner. And that's how I was able to figure out that the other side was not a, uh, an actual true 90. So the way to use this is you come up here, you put the tool and you just press it up against the wall. Once it sits flush from both ends, you take it down and you look at where it marked. And this is a 50 degree, uh, basically corner. So what that means is it's a 25, uh, it's gonna be a 25 degree cut on both sides. So you take the 50 and you split it in half. So now we're gonna go to the saw and cut it and bring it back here. All right, so we're at the miter saw now, and I set up my cut at 25 degrees, and Hassan here is gonna cut the cuts. So uh, we know that our profile is gonna be face down because we're doing these upside down. So we're gonna cut that at 40, uh, 25 degrees. Go ahead, Hassan. It's gonna be our left miter, and then our right miter. Same thing, we go to 25 degrees on the other side. All right, let's take the pieces back inside just to show you. This is just a dummy piece, by the way. It's not the piece that's going up, but I wanted to show you guys how it looks. All right, so we're back now, and I'm about to show you what the cuts look like. So we got our right miter right there. That's our left. Squeeze them together. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful miter cut. No gaps, nothing. No caulking needed. Done. So, uh, so my cousin just uh, brought to my attention that some of these angle finders don't have the bottom numbers on them. They only have from zero to 180 degrees. So I'm gonna show you the math and how to do it if you don't have the bottom numbers. So this one here is a nifty tool because it actually shows you. So if our, if our corner over here, this, this little uh, corner of the wall right here is 145 degrees. So with this little tool, if I go to 145 degrees, we know half of it is 35. You see that 30 and then there's a five. You take the 35 and divide it in two and it gives us 17 and a half. So I'm gonna show you a quick math. If you guys don't have an angle finder that doesn't have the numbers on the bottom, because a lot of them come with only the angles on top, which is the degrees on top from zero to 180. I'll show you exactly how to do that, but I have to write it out, so bear with me. All right, so the math for a straight line is always 180 degrees, okay? So 180 degrees, whatever. Okay, so you guys get that part. So that's 180 degrees, which is a straight line. So if you guys measured your corner and it gives you, it gives you 145 degrees, you can't cut this on the miter saw because half of 145 is what? 72 and a half, right? 70, yeah, 70 and 70 is 140 and then two and a half. So half of this is 72 and a half. The, the basically the most you can get out of the miter saw is a 45 degree cut. Some of them have 50, but either way, that's still not enough for this. So what you do is the simple method is your straight line is 180 degrees. So you take 180, which is your straight line. You deduct 145 degrees out of it, which is your angle. And then that gives you uh, 35. And you take the 35 and divide that by two. And then that gives you 17.5. So that's basically our angle over here right now. So 180 minus our angle, which is 145, equals 35. You take the 35, you should be able to get the same cut that we just got earlier. So hopefully this doesn't uh, confuse anybody. Straight line is 180. That's your straight line. And then you have your angle. I already put it here your angle and then that gives you 35 you divide the 35 by 2 and that's your 17.5 that's basically your miter cut this is uh guaranteed to work every single time